Hey brewers and beer lovers, it's Jake with superbrewers.com and today I needed to change my CO2 tank so I figured I'd um, just shoot a quick video about cracking your CO2 tank. This is a 20 pound tank so it's a little bit larger than a lot of people have. Um, I use it a lot for um, carbonating. I do transfers and stuff like that. So um, you may have a smaller five pound tank or even a paintball tank. The process is still going to be basically the same. So um, first thing, when you pick up your CO2 tank or get it, like the, I have to do CO2 exchanges. So every time I get a different tank from the company that does the refills, um, so it comes with a protective cap over the CO2 nozzle. So you'll want to grab the, the tab and pull that off. And then just to make sure there's no dust inside that uh, nozzle. You just want to crack it and stop it. You don't have to do it long. You just want to blow any dust out. Then there is going to be a washer um, that goes between your regulator and the actual tank. And so you can put that right in there and then turn Turn this just so you can see what's going on and finger tighten it at first and that's gonna get it so that everything is securely in place okay. then once the threads are in place then take your wrench and I, I sized this when I took it off my other tank then you just want to tighten it and then when you turn it on you're gonna see this valve or oh, sorry both this valve and this valve will go off of the zero stops and go up so this is the pressure within the tank once it gets down into this gray area you're going to want to look at getting another tank on standby in case you run out and then this is the pressure that the, you're going to be dispensing at so right now I have this at very minimal pressure because I was bottling um, off of a different keg and I just wanted enough to push the liquid. So the other thing that I do before I adjust the, the serving pressure is um, I vent the hose just to flush out any oxygen that, or air that's in there. And with a corny keg setup, there's a small plastic pin inside, and you just push that in, and you're all set. Hey brewers and beer lovers, Jake with superbrewers.com and today I am just gonna talk about adjusting the serving pressure of your CO2 tank. Um, this is an older regulator so it actually requires 
a screwdriver to adjust the serving pressure. First thing is make sure the lock nut is loosened so that it's not against the body of the regulator. And then the other thing is you'll need a flat bladed screwdriver um, if you have this style. A lot of the newer regulators have a built-in um, knob that you can turn manually, which is awesome. Um, but basically, once you get the CO2 turned on, then you are going to want to um, you actually tighten the screw so instead of loosening it to open it, you are tightening the screw to push in the release until you get to the pressure you want. You want. And I want about 10 PSI, so I will just take the screwdriver and turn it until about there. 10 PSI, you're all set. And then um, if you need to, you can make sure that you flush the hose. And that's all there is to it. Grew up an adventure.